today we are going to discuss Bitcoin SV. At the very beginning I will be doing a short overview of what Bitcoin SV is and at the end of this video I will share with you my opinion what I think about Bitcoin SV and I will give you my price prediction on Bitcoin SV as in my price prediction videos. If you are new to this channel click on crypto bull under this video somewhere and you will be redirected to my homepage and on my homepage you will find this playlist crypto price prediction 2021 where I already have 44 different price predictions that I am creating and adding more price prediction for different cryptocurrencies. So I was giving short overviews of that particular cryptocurrency so here is that playlist and if you are interested in my low cap altcoin picks you can become my Patreon on my Patreon page I am posting my low cap altcoin picks which I am investing in myself guys and that link is also in description and first comment of this video. let's get into Bitcoin SV and let's first try to understand what Bitcoin SV is. But to understand fully Bitcoin SV we have to go back a little bit in history to Bitcoin and we have to look what the problem is being solved by Bitcoin SV and in the middle there was also Bitcoin Cash. In 2017 we had a problem here in cryptocurrency space. Bull market started and a lot of transactions got stuck. Bitcoin blockchain got bloated and transaction fees got very high or very expensive. Expensive. And in some cases even I was trading at the time and I was save, sending Bitcoin, I was receiving Bitcoin and in some cases I had to wait for transaction to come through two or even three days. Bitcoin blockchain was so overloaded. And it was caused because of the reason that Bitcoin's block size is only one megabyte. However now there are different solutions created around it. There is Bitcoin Lightning Network, Rub Bitcoins and many other solutions which are built around that. But at that time that was not the case yet. And Bitcoin community at that time spread it into two parts. One group decided to run the same old Bitcoin and another part of community decided to create a hard fork where they are increasing Bitcoin block size from 1 megabyte to 32 big megabytes and they created a Bitcoin cash. And if you don't understand what does it mean hard fork and soft fork, so soft fork is some change which you are doing on blockchain technology and that blockchain still can run. You don't need to create another blockchain. But for example if you are creating some major change like in this case if you are increasing a block size you pretty much need to create another blockchain and this means that you are hard forking that blockchain you are creating from existing blockchain another blockchain, new blockchain. And that's how Bitcoin Cash blockchain was created. And the difference was that now Bitcoin has one megabyte blocks but Bitcoin Cash already had 32 megabyte blocks. This means the transactions are faster and in one block you can obviously store more transactions. But what is Bitcoin SV? Bitcoin SV is another hard fork. Only this hard fork is from Bitcoin Cash blockchain. This means that Bitcoin SV did a hard fork from Bitcoin Cash and they increased block size even bigger. They increased block size from 32 megabytes to 128 megabytes. But you might ask then why price of Bitcoin SV is not going up currently it is $173 but if we for example will go to Bitcoin Cash as you remember I created one of my previous videos Bitcoin Cash review as well video you will see that Bitcoin Cash costs $430 five dollars but if you will for example compare their total supplies as you can see bitcoin cash total supply is or circulating supply is 18 million 336 then Bitcoin SV circulating supply is exactly the same. They follow the circulating supply of original Bitcoin because they both are kind of Bitcoin blockchain hard forks. So they have exactly the same circulating supply and that's what I'm saying guys. You might ask why Bitcoin SV price is not going up and this is because of reason guys that Bitcoin SV is rather much hated by crypto community and this is because of their creator because creator of Bitcoin SV SV is Craig Wright guys and Craig Wright claims that he is a Satoshi and if you know what is Satoshi guys and Satoshi Nakamoto is kind of mysterious person who originally created a Bitcoin and Craig Wright is claiming that he is original Satoshi who created Bitcoin guys and that's why people hate him because nobody believes him and Craig Wright really can't prove it that he is a Bitcoin original creator and Craig Wright is claiming now that Bitcoin SV is the 
wallet only and through Bitcoin. But this is not the only reason why Bitcoin SV price is not going up. Another reason is that you can't buy Bitcoin SV on Coinbase. If you are new to cryptocurrency, then you probably have heard about Coinbase not once because this is one of the oldest cryptocurrency exchanges or places where you can buy and sell different cryptocurrencies. And usually Coinbase is the place where new cryptocurrency people who are coming into cryptocurrency where they are seeing their first cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, where they are seeing Litecoin and where they are seeing Bitcoin Cash. And like I mentioned guys, Bitcoin Cash in my Bitcoin Cash video that Bitcoin Cash is everywhere. Same as Litecoin is everywhere. Same as Bitcoin is everywhere. That's why Bitcoin Cash will have more value like any Bitcoin SV or any other cryptocurrencies which are not listed on these places, which I will show you right now. So first is Coinbase. It is not list Bitcoin SV is not listed on Coinbase. And that's that means that a lot of people don't even know that there is such a cryptocurrency until they spend a little bit more in crypto space. Next thing is that if you go to Grayscale and Grayscale is the place where institutional money is buying and investing in different cryptocurrencies, you can see that in Grayscale they have Grayscale Bitcoin Cash Trust. This means that this trust is backed by real Bitcoin. Then they have Ethereum Trust. This means that this is trust where institutional investors can invest in this Ethereum Trust and it is backed by real Ethereum. And then they have Ethereum Classic. Then they have Litecoin and they have Zcash, but there is no Bitcoin SV. This means that institutional money or smart money also don't have access to Bitcoin SV. So, but they at the same time they have access to Bitcoin Cash, and that's why I'm telling you guys that's why Bitcoin Cash is more valuable and it will be more valuable than any other cryptocurrencies which are not listed for example on grayscale because grayscale is the first place where institutional monies have access to it where big money have access to these cryptocurrencies so bitcoin cash they have here they have bitcoin trust they have ethereum trust ethereum classic and they have litecoin and zcash as you can see here and bitcoin sv is not there and third place obviously is binance if you are in cryptocurrency already for a while you have heard about Binance because this is the most liquid cryptocurrency exchange and Bitcoin SV also was delisted from Binance and this is also huge because a lot of people who are coming into crypto space they don't really know any other cryptocurrency exchanges except Binance and Binance whether Coinbase those are two places where they are trading until they get their head around which is about six months or one year when they start really understanding what is going on here in crypto space. They are afraid from other cryptocurrency exchanges. If we go now into Bitcoin SV, as you can see here in markets, if you click on markets, you can see here Huobi Global, Hit BTC, OKX and Coinbit. And there is no Bit, Bitforex, Digifinex. There is no really huge cryptocurrency exchanges where it is being traded. However, it is on many cryptocurrency exchanges still listed. But as you can see, one is Bitrex. I started myself when I started trading. I started Bitrex, but now I don't like Bitrex at all. But that's another story, guys, for another video but yes guys as you can see it is not on the biggest places or most liquid places where it could be invested in where Bitcoin Cash for example which is also like like I explained you at the very beginning it is also a fork of Bitcoin it is rather fast pretty much the same fast as Bitcoin SV obviously not so fast but fast enough to for investors to invest in Bitcoin Cash rather in Bitcoin SV so as like hate by people and so on and so forth which I mentioned in this video so my price prediction for this coin is I don't know guys I could say 400 maximum in 2021 because not many people are interested in it and it is used only for speculation and people don't really take this cryptocurrency serious when they figure out or they, when they study the history of this cryptocurrency and its CEO which is Craig Wright who is claiming that he is also creator of Bitcoin then people start not taking this serious because Craig Wright can't really prove it or he hasn't even proved it that he is the main creator of Bitcoin as well. This is just my thoughts on Bitcoin SV. Let me know your thoughts in comments of this video or share your cryptocurrencies also in comments of this video because I'm writing them all down. I will be going through all of them sooner or later in my videos. And if you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new and 
See you in the next one.